everybody, thanks for stopping back at the Amateur Athlete Skate Shop YouTube channel. Hit the site, aa1982.com. Check out the Instagram and Facebook and all the socials that you have that we have. Um, it's summer, it's kicking, it's getting hot out there. Sorry it's been a little bit since I made a video. I got married and went to Puerto Rico for a honeymoon. But uh, Santa Cruz, NHS, got some new, uh, new uh, reissues out. And a lot that we're going to highlight uh, two decks that aren't reissues that are just cool, so I wanted to show them off. And two new wheels that were pretty worthy of checking out, so let's get into it right away. First up, we have the Eric Dressen Hardline Wheel, which are 56 millimeters, very cool, kind of matches the uh. Chinese Asian uh, boards that he's had out before very cool very wide uh, skate profile so definitely check those out the hardline OJ uh, Eric Dressen wheels then we have the slime balls guest pro Salba 60 millimeter 95 a which are very very cool what makes it even cooler is there's a road image not road image what am i trying to say there's a graphic on the road side of it right there sorry just took a drink and my throat's messed up but the uh road image is very cool will match some of the old school salva reissues very very well comes with a cool sticker that you just saw on the front so very wide riding profile chunky wheel 60 millimeters 95a so definitely go check those out so let's get into the boards let me get a sip of water quick up first the 9.32 by 32 inches long eric dressen we all remember the pup reissue this is the same graphic which makes this one a little bit cooler is that the middle is uv changing uh ink so you take it outside the graphic right here in the middle will change i'll get some b-roll film of the changing graphic which is very cool on this one they're doing the double double drilled so you can change the uh, wheelbase the wheelbase changes from 14.5 to 15 inch wheelbase on this one does have a no longer nose the shape has been out before we all know this shape the tail very cool awesome graphic classic graphic from eric dressen makes it even cooler that the uh the graphic changes up next is the Eric Winkowski Dope Planet 2, coming in at 10.34 inches wide at its widest and 30.54 uh, length. Very cool Dope Planet. Comes with this one is the VX, which is lighter, stronger, thinner, has a ply of, it kind of looks like carbon fiber if you can get it right there. Uh, so very cool board, white dip on the top with the Tall Boy 666 artwork on the bottom. If you don't know who Tall Boy is, go check him out on Instagram. Does a lot of uh, Santa Cruz graphics, but does a lot of Eric Winkowski graphics. So the Dope Planet 2 coming in at 90, 92, 95 bucks. A little bit more expensive, but it is a lot lighter, a lot stronger, thinner, more pop. We all know the Missile 2 Concave, little, little nose right there, so you can see the nose all around there. But I uh, love the Dope Planet graphics, very, very cool artwork and a uh, cool shape on that one. Next up is the Rob Roskop Face 3, coming in at 9.9 inches, 30.6 length. Jimbo Phillips artwork, son of Jim Phillips. So it's the Phase 3, the third uh, installment of the Phase Target uh, board graphics. Uh, it, you know how it goes. It starts with one hardly coming out of the target, then the rest comes bulging out. This is the Phase 3. So it does come with the double drilled holes right there so you can experiment with wider wheelbases again you know how i always uh, tell people to try different uh 
wheel wheel uh, wheelbases. What am I trying to say? There are different wheelbases. Um, if your board has it, try it. You may like it, you may hate it. Um, it's always good to experiment and try new things, though. The top graphic is a Rob Roscop with a little Jim Phillips right there. What's pretty cool to highlight on this board, not many people notice, is on the uh, silvers, it's kind of like metallic y. So, very cool. Right here in the nose bridge, you can see how it's kind of metallic y on the whole thing. So, very cool graphic, very iconic graphic. We all know the small nose on this one, still definitely rideable. Smaller nose, tail, just like the uh, other face graphics has the little indentation money bump right here. So we all know that uh, that tail right there. So definitely go check out the face three from Santa Cruz, Rob Roscop Designs. Then we have the Corey O'Brien. Let me switch it up so it looks normal. The Corey O'Brien coming in at 9.85 inches, 30 inches long. They've done this graphic in many, many colors. The brown is very, very cool. Top, uh, top flavor is brown, matches the bottom. Corey O'Brien Reaper. The, uh, not sure of the wheelbase on this one. I guess I should have looked that up before I started, but uh, very, very small nose on this one, as you can see, as we change the nose here. Very short, little stubby nose, but still a fun ride. So definitely go check out the Corey O'Brien Brown Stain Reaper. Unfortunately, the Kendall we sold out of super super fast. I'll put a little picture up here of the Kendall Jägermeister. Uh, very iconic board, one of the most popular. That's why we sold out of it very very fast. Uh, again, I'll put a picture up. Kendall board, classic graphic with the Jägermeister deer with the antlers on there. And then we get into the right here coming in at the Toyota 10.35 31.19 length very cool graphic. This one is a first time reissue along with the Kendall Jägermeister is a first time reissue board. Very small, does have a little bit flatter nose right here, but still a shorter, stubbier nose. White on the bottom, white on the top with the cat eating little Toyota there, who's one of their long time Asian pros from back in the day does have a top hit of Santa Cruz on the top right there which makes it very very cool so check out the Toyota 10.35 Santa Cruz reissue board sorry for being out of the Kendall like I said I'll put a picture up but thanks guys for checking out the video I wanted to make a short and sweet one this time um, Coming up in a week or so, we have the new heroin drop. So everybody's into the heroin boards right now, as they should be. Super cool graphics, different shapes, crazy shapes. Foss is a super dope guy, super polite guy. So go check them out if you haven't. Some awesome boards on the way from them. Thanks for stopping and checking out the video, aa1982.com. Check out the site. All these boards that we have here are on site and available shipping or for pickup. So... Thanks for checking things out, guys.